October 8th, 9th, and 10th, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the sun is in Libra and the moon is in Cancer. There's so much going on in these few days. I just have to say, you guys, stop this weekend and pay attention to the sky. The good news is there's a grand trine. We have Mercury in Scorpio, Neptune in Pisces, and the moon in Cancer. Just had to think about it. So let's do it again. We have moon in Cancer, Mercury in Scorpio, and Neptune in Pisces. Those are three planets in water. So you would immediately think, wow, how delicious. The moon's in Cancer. There's a grand trine in water. We're at least going to be able to feel... But the moon is also making a cardinal grand cross. The moon is opposite all those planets in Capricorn, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. We have Mars and Aries and Sun and Libra. So look, there's four planets all involved in a grand cross. So what happens is the grand trine, if you saw a chart like this, if you were studying with me, and some of you are in the middle of school, the grand trine immediately, wow, three planets in water, moon and Cancer, Neptune in Pisces, Mercury in Scorpio. A being who would be born today would say, I feel things. I sense things. I'm emotionally sensitive and I'm a Libra. I'm very kind. Then we have this grand cross that says, hold on a minute. That's the sign when you see four planets that are all 90 degrees apart. It's very unusual. It only happens several times in a year. It's a marker that some being is being born who wanted to learn life the hard way. And some of you are those characters who came in with the Grand Cross and life did not come in easy. You had to push and walk uphill. The good news is this person has a Grand Trine in water to soften it. But during Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to feel that Grand Cross. And there is so much tension. And all a Grand Cross says in Cardinal is, I can't wait for someone else. This is what a good, strong Libra Cancer would say. Let's describe it. Libra, peacemaker. Everyone should get along. Cancer, I want to stay home and take care of just my family. Libra, no. We're inviting some people over because we're interested in all kinds of people. Cancer, no. I just want to be home alone with my family. That's the conflict between a Libra and a Cancer. Then the Grand Trident Water says, oh, just be nice. You can sit and be quiet. And then the Grand Cross says, are you kidding me? I am not inviting anyone over. I have work to do. So, in this weekend, it's that conflicted energy that Libras know all about. Should I go to work? Should I stay home? Should I be free? Should I be constrained? Should I be disciplined? Should I indulge? There's a lot of tension. Here's the deal. October 9th is John Lennon's birthday. That would be on Friday. So what did he talk about? I have a dream that if everyone could just get along with each other and we could all, I just always imagine what was it like when he wrote his music and said to Yoko Ono, come on in and hear my songs. Wouldn't it be amazing if we all understood his Libra request to take all the static and bring it into peace and remember we're all part of the same family. Now that's the highest road of Libra Cancer. I am interested in other people. They are my family. I include everyone and I'm doing my best to take the tension and breathe into it this weekend and find my way to be the healer because that's Libra's real gift to us. They're the ones, and so is cancer, that makes it all okay. So I want to say to you, no matter how much tension there is, and this is a very tense few days, you can be the one that's the healing agent by making that decision right now. Astrology Answers wanted me to enroll you. Will you help us? Will you be the kind one? Let your tears fall. Let your vulnerability be there. But don't blame anyone. That's the art of Libra. It's the kindness between us that stops all the tension when we realize we're all in this together. Yeah. Imagine there was a world where we understood the right use of Libra and Cancer and we all got along. I'm challenging you. If you like this video, then be sure to join the waiting list for my online school, Applied Astrology. That's where you get to discover the basics of how to read your birth chart, how to give readings to others, your true purpose in this lifetime, and a clear roadmap to follow your path right to falling in love with you you. Click the link in the description to join the waitlist and I'll let you know first when the registration opens.